Hey guys, I'm going to be doing an Aries cosplay, like a vlog along with me video, so I hope that's okay. So the first thing we're going to do is some durable wire, and you're going to clip off your desired length, and then you're going to begin to spiral it with your pliers as you see in this clip. So yeah. I say so yeah so many times when voiceovers, I don't know why. But now you're going to be taking your plastic bags and just wrapping them around and around and around and around and you're going to do that two to four times depending on the thickness that you want it and after each time you're going to either cut it off and stop your plastic bag with wire and or a rubber band so your bag doesn't come on wide, unleveled. I need to speed up talking. <laughs> um, but now you're going to take some more wire and you're going to clip some off, bend it in half, and clip it off again so you have two. So now you're just going to glue on those two pieces of wire to the end of the horns so you have a very nice pointed tip but not like super pointy so like stab somebody, that would be bad. That would be very very bad. So now you're just going to take your pliers again and cut off any excess wire that you don't need from the top. So now we're going to take our yarn, or you could take gardening tool, or just, you know, like that weird tool. I don't know what it's called. Um, I'll put a picture of it in here. But I'm just going to start wrapping it around the tip and then wrap it all the way down. It's a really, really long process, but this is what makes it look really, really good. So, yeah, just do that all the way down your horns. So now you're just going to glue down any excess string at the very end so it doesn't come undone in the middle of the convention because that would be horrible. So now you're just going to take either some spray paint or whatever and spray your horns. I started mine with a base of black and then I went back over it with brown because I didn't like how the black looked. Um, but that's what I did and it turned out pretty good if I didn't say so myself. So now you're just going to take your clips or a headband or whatever you're using and you're going to take your E6000 glue or 9000 or super glue and you're just going to glue it onto that spirally part shown there and you're just going to take that glue and put it where the spiral part is and then you'll clip on the clips there as well. I Now moving on to the wig, my wig is from Rockstar Wigs. They also have Gothic Lolita wigs and cosplay wigs and all that fun. Mine is the Boy Shag Cut and I will leave links to them in the description below. And I'm going to be using a reference photo so I can see what I want. Mine is not as curly as I want it to be, so mine is heat resistant so I can use a heat curling iron as shown here. But I recommend for this one that's so short using curlers because it'll just make it more tighter and stay I think a little bit longer than using heat on it but that's just my personal opinion. But you'll just curl it up like regular curlers. I recommend doing this on a wig head but I didn't have one available today so I just used my regular head and curled it. And after I was done curling it I then just used hairspray and sprayed it in place and you'll let that sit for about 6 hours or 24 hours or whatever and it will be completely dry and ready to use. So I came back to edit this and I realized I didn't show you guys me cutting my bangs and how I styled them. But if you guys want to know how I did that, let me know in the description box below and I will definitely get back to you guys on that. So that is the end of the video, 
Um, this is the final product and what my hair looked like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and my social media links will be down in the description below. And don't forget to check out my last video. Until next time, I love you guys so much.